say it, or the comic geek here, or have a few things based on comics. Today, or, well, today we are looking at the most unstoppable people from Marvel and DC. From Marvel we have Juggernaut, and from DC we have Solomon Grundy. They're both unstoppable, and they are both, in, and they got their powers from unknown sources. So, let's dive into Juggernaut versus Solomon Grundy. Alright, Juggernaut. Kane Marco, also known as the Juggernaut, is the stepbrother of X-Men founder Charles Xavier and the, ava and the avatar, avatar t of Cytorac, I don't know, it's some kind of amulet or a gem. Powered by the crimson gem of Cytorac, I don't know. Marco is bestowed virtually limitless brute strength and durability, which he mostly uses for criminal pursuits and wanton destruction. The Juggernaut is considered one of the most, one of the strongest and most powerful beings on Earth. Now for Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy is a reanimated corpse stemming from a cursed place near Gotham City called Slaughter Swamp. He has he has had many appearances in which he ha had different levels of strength and intelligence, once surpassing even Superman in power level. And. Uh, Alright, powers and abilities. Juggernaut. He has the avatar, he's the avatar of whatever that is. Superhuman strength, stamina, supernaturally dense tissue, invulnerability, regenerative healing factor, self sustenance, immortality, contaminated, contaminant immunity, a force field, and in an irresistible force embod embodiment. Now for Solomon Grundy. He has unique physiology, energy absorption, and vulnerability, resurrection, superhuman stamina, and strength. How are they the same? Well, Cain got a gem from from a cave, which gave him, which then the gem gave him. But first, he had to say some kind of words, and then he turned into it. His body was like an embodiment embodiment of a living juggernaut. Cyrus Gold. Well, he got his his spirit went into a corpse. Which caused him to wake up and be and be a living corpse, Solomon Grundy. He's unstoppable. They're both unstoppable. They got stuff from hidden places. Juggernaut got his from a cave. Grundy got his from a swamp, and he, and Grundy always goes to the swamp to heal. And also, he has this thing. He has. He keeps saying Solomon Grundy born on a Monday. So this is this is a poem of Solomon Grundy. It's a famous poem. 
the life and death of a certain Solomon Grundy. Let's let me say it to you, Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, grew worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried Sunday. That was the end of Solomon Grundy. So anyway. I'm it with the comic geek and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.